upper left shows the water warming in the oceans around the world. Water warming is a bad thing because the gases come out and the warming is different by depth. Predators and prey in the deeper ocean uh, are now less able to move quickly. And on the upper right is the ice loss from the northern hemisphere uh, from the Arctic. Bottom right is the Greenland ice loss. Oxygen loss in the ocean, that's due primarily to warming conditions and to pollution. The right-hand side shows Louisiana, below New Orleans, the dead zones in the Gulf of Mexico, where there's not enough oxygen dissolved in the water to support life. It's very simple, it's dead. Uh, pollution coming from the Mississippi, down the Mississippi, whether it's organics, uh, like poop, uh, or nitrates from fertilizer from farms, uh, all that kind of stuff silting up uh, and oxygen loss occurs as soon as you have a lot of organic material present that the bacteria have to digest and they emit carbon dioxide. Acidification is the big thing for life also because acidification means that shellfish don't, won't exist anymore. Fish with backbones won't exist anymore. Diatoms, the smallest things that we depend upon, the lower picture there, the microscopic diatomaceous life that has little shells that they build around themselves, they're the base of the food chain. So we wipe out the base of all the food chain up through whales with acidification. And here's how close we are to doing that. See the upper right of this picture? That's where we are. We're heading downward in pH, which means more acidic water, less alkaline water. And that's a problem. And it's getting worse everywhere in the Pacific and Atlantic. And we have until about 20 50 where the lines start to cross before we get real average, average extinctions. In the upper right picture, you'll see that there's a colorful area in the North Atlantic. They've already experienced problems with acidification. In California and Oregon coast, the oyster farmers have to put alkali into the water over their oyster beds. We would have to do that for the entire ocean, through how many nuclear plants it would take to make how much alkali to dump in the ocean in order to just keep things as they are, and that's about 900 nuclear plants just for process heat to make the alkali we would need to dump in the ocean. Yeah? When, when you say uh, a nuclear plant, what size are you? Gigawatt. One gigawatt? Okay. Standard reactor.